Hello everyone, in this video let us solve this question. So we have in bracket x plus 3 all cube equals to x plus 2 divided by 36. And here, we to find for the possible values of x. So to solve this solution, solution, we have in bracket x plus 3 all raised to power 3 equals to x plus 2 over 36. Now, if you multiply both sides, by 36 and then divide by x plus 3 all cube we're going to get the final answer as x plus 2 over in bracket x plus 3 all raised to power 3 and this equals 36 so with this we can express this as x then plus 2 can be written as 3 minus 1 over in bracket x plus 3 all raised to power 3 and this equals 36. So with this, if we split this fraction, we have x plus 3, okay, divided by in bracket x plus 3, all raised to power 3, then minus 1 over in bracket x plus 3, all raised to power 3 equals 36. Next, x plus 3, we cancel this, we are left with 2, so we have 1 over in bracket x plus 3, all raised to power 2 minus 1 over in bracket x plus 3 all raised to power 3 and this equals 36 so this equation can be written as in bracket we have 1 over x plus 3 all raised to power 2 minus in bracket 1 over x plus 3 all raised to power 3 and this equals 36 so looking at this, we have 1 over x plus 3. So we are then going to say that let 1 over x plus 3 equals to a. Such that this equation then becomes a squared minus a cubed equals 36. Move 36 over to the left hand side. We have a squared minus a cubed minus 36 and this equals 0. This can then be written as a squared minus a cubed minus in bracket 36 is 27 plus 9 and this equals 0. So a squared minus a raised to power 3 minus 27 can be written as 3 raised to power 3 minus times plus minus 9 can be written as 3 raised to power 2 and this equals 0. So looking at the powers, we have a raised to power 2 and 3 raised to power 2 will bring that together. We also have a raised to power 3 and 3 raised to power 3 will bring that together. So let's first start with a raised to power 2. So we have a raised to power 2, then minus 3 raised to power 2, group that, then minus in brackets, we have a raised to power 3, then plus 3 raised to power 3, and this equals 0. So looking at this, we have difference of 2 squared. If you have x squared minus y squared, this equals in brackets x plus y, then multiplied by x minus y. So this then becomes in brackets a plus 3, then multiplied by a minus 3. Then also looking at this, we have addition of 2 cube. So if you have x cube plus y cube, this equals in bracket x plus y, then multiplied by x squared minus x times y plus y squared. So working with this, this then becomes we have minus in bracket a plus 3, then multiplied by we have a squared minus 3a, then plus 9, and this equals 0. So with this, we have a common factor, a plus 3, a plus 3. Factorize out a plus 3, then we are left with a minus 3, then minus a squared, minus times minus plus 3a, minus times plus minus 9, and this equals 0. So we have in bracket a plus 3, then multiplied by, so minus a squared, then a plus 3a plus 4a minus 9 minus 3 minus 12 and this equals 0. So with this, we can equate these two to 0. We have 
a plus 3 equals 0 or we have minus a squared plus 4a minus 12 and this equals 0. And with this, the value of a is equal to minus 3. And why for this other equation, if we multiply this by minus 1, we have a squared minus 4a plus 12 and this equals 0. So to then solve this equation, we're going to make use of the quadratic formula. So with respect to a, the formula is given by a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And in this case, the value of a is equal to the coefficient of a squared 1, the value of b, the coefficient of a minus 4, the value of c is the constant plus 12. So with this, we have the value of a to then equal minus b, minus into brackets, b is minus 4, plus or minus square root b squared, b is minus 4, so minus 4 all squared, minus 4 times a is 1, times c is 12, and this is then divided by 2 times a, 2 times 1. The value of a is then equal to minus times minus 4 plus 4, plus or minus square root, minus 4 squared is equal to 16, minus 4 times 1 times 12, minus 48, divided by 2 times 1, 2. A is then equal to 4, plus or minus square root of 16 minus 48, minus 32, all over 2. So, A is then equal to 4, plus or minus, we can write square root of minus 32 as square root of 16, times square root of 2 times square root of minus 1 divided by 2. So a is then equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 2 times square root of minus 1 is i divided by 2. So with this, we are then going to factorize out 2 from the numerator. We have the value of a to so equal 2 into bracket 2 plus or minus 2 times root 2i, two then divided by 2. 2 we divide 2, the value of a is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 times square root of 2i. And with this, we have the second solution of a to equal 2 plus 2 times square root of 2i, and the third solution of a to equal 2 minus 2 times square root of 2i. Then, we are to solve for the value of x. To do so, recall that from here, right here, we said let 1 over x plus 3 equals to a, this. So writing this down, that recall, right here, recall, recall that 1 over x plus 3 is equal to a. And by the way, we got the first value of a, a1 is equal to, with this right here, A1 is equal to minus 3. This is the first value of A. So, writing this down, the first value of A is equal to minus 3. So then, in putting the values of A into this given equation, so for A1 to equal minus 3, this then becomes 1 over x plus 3 equals to minus 3. Next, this can be written as we have x plus 3 equals to minus 1 over 3. So that if we move plus 3 over to the right hand side, the value of x equals to minus 1 over 3, then minus 3. So minus 3 can be written as over 1, and the value of x is equal to the LCM of 3 and 1 is 3. 3 will divide 3, 1. 1 times minus 1, minus 1. 1 we divide 3, 3. Now, 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. So, x is then equal to minus 1 minus 9 minus 10 over 3. And with this, we have gotten the first value of x. Then, to solve for the other value of x, for a2 to equal 2 plus 2 times square root of 2i, so writing this down, that the value of a2 is equal to 2, plus 2 times square root of 2i, and the given equation is 1 over x plus 3 equals to a, so we have 1 over x plus 3, and this equals to a, so we have this to then equal 1 over 
x plus 3 equals a as 2 plus 2 times square root of 2i. This can then be written as x plus 3 equals 1 over 2 plus 2 times square root of 2i. Next, we are going to multiply this by the conjugate of 2 plus 2 times square root of 2i, which is simply 2 minus 2 times square root of 2i. So multiply the numerator and also the denominator, 2 minus 2 times square root of 2i. So doing this, what we have is we have x plus 3, then this equals 1 times this is simply 2 minus 2 times square root of 2i, then divided by, so multiplying this, okay, multiplying these two, this becomes 2 times 2 is 2 squared, then minus in brackets, 2 times square root of 2i, all squared. So that with this, we have the value of x plus 3 to equal 2, you can factorize out 2 from the numerator, this becomes 2 into brackets, 1 minus square root of 2i, and this is then divided by, so 2 squared is 4, 2 squared is 4, so 4 times square root cancel square root, 4 times 2 is equal to 8, so minus 8, i times square, so i squared, so we have the value of x plus 3, x plus 3 is equal to 2 into brackets 1 minus square root of 2i then divided by we can factorize out 2 from the denominator we have 2 into bracket 2 minus 4i squared so the value of x plus 3 is then equal to 2 we divide 2 we have 1 minus square root of 2i then divided by 2 minus 4i squared Shows that with this, the value of x plus 3, x plus 3 is equal to 1 minus square root of 2i, then divided by 2 minus 4 times. Recall that the value of i squared, this one, i squared, is equal to minus 1. So 4 times minus 1. Shows that with this, the value of x plus 3 is equal to 1 minus square root of 2i, then divided by, so we have 2 minus 4 times minus 1 is equal to plus 4 and the value of x plus 3 equals 1 minus square root of 2i divided by 2 plus 4 is 6. Next, move plus 3 over to the right hand side. The value of x is then equal to 1 minus square root of 2i divided by 6 then minus 3 then over 1. So that with this, the value of x x is then equal to the LCM of 6 and 1 is 6, 6. Now 6 we divide 6, 1. 1 times this is 1 minus square root of 2i. Then minus 1 we divide 6, 6 times 6 times 3 is equal to 18. So the value of s is equal to 1 minus 18 minus 17 minus square root of 2i. Then divided by 6. And this is the second solution for the value of x. Now, to then solve for the third solution for the value of x, right here, the value of a3 is equal to 2 minus 2 times square root of 2i. So if we input this into this given equation, we also get the value of x3, that the value of x3, x3 will be equal to minus 17, but instead of minus, it will become plus times square root of 2i, then divided by 2. And recall that the first value of x right here, the first value of x equals minus 10 over 3. So the value of x1, x1 is equal to minus 10 over 3. So these are the solutions of the value of x, x1, x2, and x3. With this, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Do also like this video, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. God bless you.